With tens of thousands of flights taking place every day, it's only inevitable that sometimes things go wrong. But luckily for these people, catastrophe was narrowly averted. Here are 15 aircraft near misses and close calls. Number 15. U.S. vs. Russian Jet In January of 2018, the U.S. Navy released this stunning footage of a near miss with a Russian fighter jet. It was recorded by an EP-3 Ares II plane as it was conducting a mission over the Black Sea when an Su-27 jet flew across its flight path. According to Navy officials, the Russian aircraft was just five feet away and it was interpreted as an aggressive and unsafe interaction. They went at lengths to insist that the U.S. plane hadn't breached Russian airspace and that it was just the latest in a long line of Russian military activities that breached international conventions. Had one of the pilots made one wrong move, this would have surely ended in disaster. And shortly after, according to Russian officials, once the Navy jet veered away from the border, the Su-27 returned to its base. The Russians insisted this was a case of them defending their territory, but even so, it was surely too close for comfort. Number 14. Paraguay Airport Airport workers are used to performing their duties near to large aircraft, but they're usually safe in the assumption that they won't be at the risk of being hit by a jet that's landing. That's not always the case, though, as a team of runway maintenance personnel found out in a video that was released in 2019. These six engineers were fixing a portion of the tarmac several years earlier at the Asuncion Silvio Petrorossi International Airport in the Paraguayan capital city of Luga when they suddenly became aware that the runway hadn't been closed like they had believed. A passenger jet came in to land, and they quickly scrambled to pick up all of their equipment and attempted to drive out of the path of the incoming aircraft. Luckily, the quick-thinking pilot didn't touch down until he had passed the workers, but it was definitely a close shave, with the landing gears almost touching the roof of their vehicle. Had it been just a few inches lower, there could have been a far more problematic incident. Number 13. San Francisco International Airport In July of 2017, an Air Canada plane was landing at San Francisco International Airport. But due to confusion over which of the two parallel runways it was meant to land on, it very nearly hit four other aircraft before making a go-around. Footage released of the incident shows just how close it came to colliding with the jets on the ground, and it was only because the other pilots turned on their lights that the plane was able to see them and take evasive maneuvers. According to the resulting NTSB report, more than 1,000 people were at imminent risk of injury or death had the plane struck one of the others, and the investigation found several errors that led it to happening. The Air Canada pilots were tired and had mistakenly heard the wrong runway to land on, while there was only one person working in air traffic control, meaning there weren't enough people watching what was happening. Measures have now been put in place, including specific training for pilots about landing at the airport to ensure nothing like this can ever happen again, because if it did, next time, people may not be quite so lucky. Number 12. Plane Almost Hits Skydivers Skydiving is a popular pastime around the world, and while everyone who takes part are made aware of the main risks they face when their lives are in the hands of a parachute, there are some things that can happen that no one can prepare for. In 2014, a skydiving instructor was performing a tandem jump with a guest like he had done hundreds of times before, but on this occasion, things were different. For some reason, after exiting the plane, the pilot decided to make a 180-degree dive and can be seen flying extremely close to the people in freefall. There was so little distance between them that the drogue and the bridle of the parachute can be seen getting caught up in the wing, but fortunately, it came free once the plane passed. It's a miracle they didn't collide. To this day, the instructor has no idea why the pilot made the maneuver. One thing's for sure, though, he'll never board a plane with him again. Number 11. Tokoroa Airfield The Tokoroa Airfield serves the town of Tokoroa on New Zealand's North Island, and it's regularly in use by both commercial aircraft and private flights. In 2017, a novice pilot almost learned the hard way how important it is to make sure the runway is clear because he flew into the path of another light aircraft, and they very nearly collided. He had already made one attempt to land, but had to fly around for another try after failing to line up correctly, presumably concentrating on how to touch down successfully the next time. He forgot to keep aware of the movements of other planes in the area, and only pulls up just in time to avoid a crash. 
the other pilot had no chance to try to avoid an incident and had to continue along his heading. But this turned out to be a stroke of luck, because if he tried to pull up two, they'd have gone straight into each other. Number 10. How low can you go? Air shows are held around the world to give spectators a chance to see cutting-edge, unusual, and historic aircraft in action. But occasionally, the pilots get caught up in the excitement of the display, and they forget about the importance of ensuring public safety. One of the most dangerous maneuvers a fighter jet can do is fly at extremely low altitudes. And during a display at a show in Argentina, a pilot decides to take his IA-63 Pampa advanced trainer perilously close to both the tarmac and the crowd. At a speed of 300 knots, which is around 345 miles per hour, he was pulling 5.3 Gs as he sped past at just a few feet above the ground. The pilot, who was probably an instructor, was clearly skilled enough to keep control of the craft and avoid the people and other obstacles. But this is reckless flying at its finest. Similar situations at other events have led to the dismissal of everyone involved, but in this case, he seems to have gotten away with it. Number 9. Near Miss at 35,000 Feet When you're traveling in an aircraft, it's often a calming experience to look out of the window. You can see further across the landscape than at any other time. Or perhaps you'll see a sky full of fluffy clouds. But surely the last thing you'd expect to see is another plane flying incredibly close to your own. A passenger on an Aer Lingus flight found themselves in this frightening situation in 2019 during a journey between Dublin and Lisbon. He saw the other plane and its jet stream and immediately reached for his phone to record it. It is, of course, difficult to determine the distances involved here, but the two jets were definitely flying too close for comfort. Luckily, they both passed without incident, and when the authorities investigated, they found that no further action needed to be taken. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 8. Helicopter and Drone Drones can be incredibly fun to fly and are valuable tools for capturing imagery and video that has never been possible before. With technological advances, they are now easier than ever to buy, but they come with a lot of restrictions on where and when you can operate them, which may at times seem like overly draconian measures. When you see videos of near misses with aircraft, however, you soon realize these rules are there for a valid reason, and if an accident were to occur, it could endanger a lot of lives. This footage was recorded by a drone that was flying off the coast of Hollywood in order to capture spectacular panoramic imagery. As it pans around, it doesn't seem like there's any nearby danger, but suddenly a helicopter appears out of nowhere and is flying directly towards the drone. It shoots past within several feet of it, and the two could have very easily collided. The incident was reported to the FAA, who confirmed that the drone operator was in the wrong. But on this occasion, they took no further action except for insisting that the drone's owner reacquainted himself with the regulations. Number 7. Plane versus SUV The airports most of us use for flights are completely segregated pieces of land that are used solely for the landing and takeoff of aircraft. But smaller facilities that are used by fixed-wing planes will often be used by other people too, with some even having roads that pass across the flight path. Of course, this is totally fine as long as the pilots and drivers are aware of the situation and listen to instructions to avoid an incident. In 2012, things didn't entirely go to plan at a Texas airport, however, when a novice pilot was coming into land. At the exact same time, an SUV driver who later claimed to have not been aware they were driving through an airport drove into the plane's path, and with no time to react, the landing gear collided with the roof of the vehicle. Luckily, the pilot survived with only minor injuries, and it was the people inside the car that complained the most about what had happened. The airport manager pointed out the stop signs on the road that were there to prevent exactly this type of thing from happening, and laid the blame completely on the driver. Number 6. Watch out for that mountain Pilots have a huge number of things they have to be aware of when they're flying at low altitudes, and while this is just an everyday part of the job, sometimes taking their eye off the ball for just one moment can lead to a frighteningly close call. And a stark reminder of how alert they have to be, this video shows what happened in Vancouver, British Columbia in 2019, when an RJ-85 air tanker was helping to tackle a raging fire. 
It flew as close to the ground as it could before releasing the red-colored fire retardant to limit the inferno spread. The pilot, however, was so focused on hitting his mark that he overlooked the mountain ridge that lay ahead and only had a split second to pull up in time to avoid it. The dust that's kicked up around the wingtips shows just how near a miss this actually was. And after the event, the pilot admitted he had been so concerned with putting out the fire that he had flown lower than had been planned without realizing. A report was filed and he undertook extra training to prevent this from happening again. But many in the profession say this was just one of the unusual hazards that they face, especially when trying to conduct such precise missions like this one. Number 5. Barcelona El Prat Airport in 2014, an Uter Boeing 767 with 260 passengers on board was making its final approach into Barcelona's El Prat Airport when an Airbus A340 from Aerolinas Argentinas suddenly began taxiing across the runway. Luckily, it was a clear day and the 767 pilot was able to see what was happening and aborted the landing in time to avoid a collision. The plane was able to fly around and make a safe landing just a few minutes later, but it could have been very different. In the aftermath, the 767 pilot was interviewed and said there had been a catalog of errors. The captain of the Airbus had apparently ignored instructions to wait by the side of the runway, and at a key moment, when it had become clear that the Airbus hadn't complied with the order, communication from air traffic control went silent, presumably because the operator panicked and didn't know what to do. The 767 pilot was forced to take matters into his own hands and regain altitude to avoid a catastrophe. And it was only because of his quick thinking that tragedy was averted. Quite why the Argentinian pilot ignored the instruction despite acknowledging has never been revealed, but it just goes to show how alert pilots have to be, because even if someone else says they're going to do one thing, there's always the chance they'll do something completely different. Number 4. St. Martin Princess Juliana Airport Plane enthusiasts can be seen near airports around the world, trying to get into the perfect position to see which aircraft are landing and taking off. But if you want to get up close with planes, there's nowhere quite like the Princess Juliana Airport on the island of San Martin in the Caribbean. With limited flat available land for a runway, this one was constructed next to the ocean, but amazingly, just at the end of the runway beyond the airport perimeter is a public beach, and it often fills up with visitors looking for their chance to get insanely close to approaching aircraft. It's become such a popular place to watch aircraft on their final approach that the bars and venues on the beach even have monitors showing the arrivals board of the airport so they know when the next jet will arrive. But with them flying lower than 100 feet above the sand, it can get rather dangerous. The jet winds stir up the sand and have been known to send people flying to the ground. And despite warnings to stay out of the flight path, there's always someone who tries to brave it. While it might seem safe and just a bit of fun, there's a serious risk here, and several people have died over the years after getting too close. Still, for the most unusual plane experience in the world, this beach is definitely the place to go. Number 3. Watch Your Head Tom Richard is a stunt pilot who travels the world to put on displays for spectators, but his career was very nearly cut short in 2016 with a frightening near miss that took place on a Nevada airfield. He was taking part in the Gold Formula One event at the Reno National Championship Air Race. But just as he was about to take off, his engine started to sputter. He was forced to shut it down. He signaled to the race marshals that there was an issue, but the three planes behind him failed to receive the message. They continued along the runway and the central one only just managed to veer out of the way in time. But its wings still collided with Richard's plane in a terrifying way and the propeller cut three large chunks out of his right wing. Had the approaching plane been just a few inches in the other direction, this could have easily been a fatal incident. Luckily for all involved, that didn't prove to be the case, and Richard was flying again in a matter of days, although the plane he had been in was a total write-off. Number 2. C-17 Flying Through a City Every year, the city of Brisbane in Australia celebrates an event called River Fire, which sees a massive fireworks display and a series of other showcases throughout the day. In 2018, the Royal Australian Air Force performed a flyby with a Boeing C-17 plane, but what came next would frighten people across the city and was widely condemned as being unnecessarily stupid and dangerous. The large aircraft flew very close to the ground and towards the skyscrapers of the CBD. Witnesses were convinced it was about to strike into them. 
but a perfectly timed maneuver saw it fly above them just in time. There's no doubt that this was a brilliantly executed stunt that would have taken a great deal of planning to pull off, but had the pilot made one mistake, it would have undoubtedly been catastrophic. The RAAF insisted that it was perfectly safe, and that there were protocols in place in case one of the pilots became incapacitated, and the pilots had practiced multiple times in a flight simulator. Many residents remained unconvinced though, and it's unlikely the Air Force will be trying anything like this again anytime soon. Number 1. Space Shuttle Flyby Flybys are performed around the world to celebrate special events, to show off new aircraft designs, or to entertain the masses at air shows. But a 2012 residents of LA were treated to arguably the most special flyby to have ever taken place. The Space Shuttle Endeavour had completed its final mission and was being transported to its final resting place as an exhibit at the California Science Center. Rather than driving it all the way, it was taken to the city on the back of a 747, but before landing at the airport, it was taken for an aerial tour around the city and photographed alongside all of the major landmarks, such as the Golden Gate Bridge, the Hollywood sign, and the Los Angeles skyline. It was then seen making a low pass over the airport before landing for the final time. Those who were lucky enough to see it were a part of a once-in-a-lifetime event, and it reminded everyone how inspirational the space program truly is. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.